welcome to GC engineering drawing by my right over here we have the first room of a cone and then is the image we're asked to draw a complete plan an end elevation the development and then the auxiliary view then by my left I've succeeded in drawing my vertical and my horizontal axis so what I'll do next I'll check from a diagram here the base of my triangle is 60 millimeter so I'll take 30 millimeter as radius then I'll measure from my meter rule 30 millimeter now I've succeeded in measuring 30 millimeter I'll place my pin at this point of intersection and then I'll draw my circle Next thing I'll do, I'll divide my circle here into 12 equal number of parts. I've succeeded in dividing it into 12 equal number of parts. Then with my T-square, I'll move up a little. Then I'll draw a horizontal line. This way. So now given that the height of my cone is 80 millimeter, I'll take my rule. And then I'll measure 80 millimeter. Present it by points with the points. Then I'll project the side of my circle upward. Now I'll call this point here point C. Call this point point A, call this point point B. I will join points C and E together. I will join point C and B together. Now, from a diagram, they see 20 millimeter downward to get to this point. So, I'll measure 20 millimeter. I'll put a point also then I'll project this line so it's the side of my cone also it's a 20 millimeter this way so I'll measure 20 millimeter I'll put a point then I indicate it with the mark I'll join my points together with an outline then I'll outline the portion of the cone I'm supposed to use the next thing I'll do is that I'll number uh, my circles call this point zero call this one two three Four, five, zero. Also, I'll call this part one, two, three, four, five, then zero. I'll project each lines to hit line AB. Project each line to hit line AB. I've succeeded in doing that then I'll pro project these lines to point C I've succeeded in getting that aspect as well 
then I'll come to this part I'll number this as 0 this is line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 line 5 and then also line 0 now from line 0 I'll project a straight line to touch my horizontal line line 0 so I'll project from point from line point zero here I'll project a straight line to hit line zero over here then I'll put a point now also from line two or point two here I'll project from point one I'll project a line downward to hit line one then I'll put a point you can see it hits line one this way and then this way i'll put my points now similarly at point two from my top i'll rule a line projected downward to hit line two you can see i put the point at line two here and also another point here at line two now at line three i'll project my t square upward then i'll i'll draw a straight line to touch the side of my cone then I'll pick the distance 2.3 then I'll place it from my midpoint of my circle and I'll put the point upward and then put the point downward now also from point 4 I'll project my line downward once it hits my line 4 then put the point also from line 5 point 5 I'll draw a point a line straight downward to hit my line 5 you can see line 5 line 5 here then the last one here from point 0 draw a straight line to hit line zero then I'll put a point this way then I'll trace my points together we succeeded in tracing our points and we're done with number one which says we should draw a complete plan the second is said we should draw the end elevation so please pick a point of our choice the dry line now this point here let me call this point a1 from point a1 you project angle 45 degree downward to a set square over here then using line zero zero project the center line this way now follow me carefully from points one and five we project the line to the right where it hits our angle here angle 45 we project it upward and then we indicate that line as 0.1 comma 5 this over here point, point 0, comma 0 now similarly we'll do that to 2 and 4 project to our right once it hits our angle of 45 degree we project it upward and then we number it as one comma as two comma four also point three project it once it hits our angle here 45 degree we project upward and we number it as three we do the same thing to the bottom part project once it's our angle we stop 
we project it upward and we'll call it point 1 comma 5 we'll do the same to point 4 and 2 when we reach our angle we'll stop we we'll project upward and we'll call this point point 2 comma 4 last point here project then project upward where it hits a uh, angle project upward and then we'll call that point three now we'll bring still raise our t square upward and then there's a line from point c down to this point i'll call this point here point c one and then i'll join point c one the construction line I'll join each point to point C1. And then I'll project my line from my cone. This is point zero. I'll project the line. And the way it hits line zero, I'll put my point. Also, I'll project line one here. Over here. Now this where it hits my line one. I have a line one here. And then have another line one at this point here this is one comma five so i have one here one comma five here so i have one i put the point also at point two i'll draw a straight line i move down check i have two here so i put my point here also i have two comma four so i put my points this place also then i'll go to point three I have point three at this spot. Also, I have point line three at this point. I'll move to four. I have two comma four, so I have point four here. I have point four also here. Then I'll move to five. I have 1,5 so I have 5 here and I also have 1,5 so I have 5 here also then point zero. then I'll put the point here at point 0 I'll trace my circle here I'll trace the points together I've succeeded in doing that then I'll outline the portion of my cone that need to be outlined. I've succeeded in outlining this part. So I'm done with number two, which is our end elevation. So we'll move to the development of the first room of this cone. So trust me, this is a very simple, the most simplest method in drawing your development. Put a point, your compass pin at C, point C. Then from point A, you draw. Then you pick from your circle which you've divided, you pick one of the distance because they are divided into equal number of parts, pick just the distance, then you mark your points. We succeeded in transferring the distance to a projected arc, then we number, call this zero. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. One, two, three, four, five, then zero. Now we'll project each of these points to point C. We have succeeded in 
joining each of this point numbered to point C. So we're, we're drawing the development of this first room of the cone. My pin at C, I'll start from this point here at point zero. No, we numbered it zero, one, two, down to zero again. So from point zero, I project my line this way and then i'll come to this point here to this my zero here then i'll put the point over there so similarly i'll open the compass then i'll project from point one then i'll draw a line and then i'll come to line one i'll put the point also come to line one here i'll put a point I'll open my compass again and stretch it at 2.2 .2, and then I'll rule. Then I'll come to point line 2 here. I'll put the point. Also come to line 2 here. I'll put my point. I'll also do same to 3. Extend it to point 3. And then I'll project. I'll come to line 3 here, then I'll put my point. Also, I'll trace line 3 from here, and then I'll put my point. I'll extend my compass to point 4. And then I'll draw. I'll come to line 4, put the point, come to line 4, I'll put my point. Now, I'll stretch it to 5, and then I'll draw, I'll locate line 5 here, and then also I'll locate line 5, this spot. Also, I'll project the last point, which is line 6, uh, line 0, sorry, project it downward. Project line zero, then I will locate line zero here, and then line zero. Now the major reason we are having zero here, zero here. You know when uh, the the cone is being sliced, cut into two. This zero becomes two, split apart becomes two. So the next thing we we'll do, we we'll trace our points this way. Trace. And then I'll outline. And then I've succeeded in tracing, outlining my the development. So I'm done with C. So the next part is we'll draw the auxiliary view. So I'll pick my auxiliary view. I'll choose any angle of my choice. So I'm using angle 60 here. Then I'll project line 0 here upward. Project line 5 upward. Project line 4 upward. Project line 3 upward project line 2 upward project line 1 upward then project line 0 upward then I'll choose a point of my choice any line of my choice let me use this line here just pick any line, you can draw any line of your choice this way. I've drawn this line as points. So I'll come over here now to point zero. You can see this point zero. So I'll put a point in my vertical horizontal line at zero and here to point zero. I'll put my point here zero. Please follow me as we move.
from this point here you can see zero hits here zero zero now we move from one pick the distance of this one here look at it here the distance from here to this side or trace line we put one this is also the same distance to this point so come to line one here on our vertical line we strike an arc to the left and to the right similarly we we'll come to point two here that will stretch a compass to hit this traced point here at two and then we'll bring it to our vertical lines here and then from line two describe an arc here describe a little arc just a point then we'll move that to three extend our compass to three then we'll bring it to line three put the point here and then put the point now we'll come to line four project it, this line here to line four here put our point and then put our point now come to line five here pick five to the left five to the right and then finally zero which is zero then we trace we'll trace our points and then we outline trace it then we we'll outline it Thank you so much for watching we're done with the auxiliary review i still remain jc engineering and technical drawing remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as we'll still be doing dealing with so many uh development on the first room of a cone remember to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching do have a blessed day ahead